Hello, Lulac Familia and supporters around the United States of Puerto Rico. I want to ask you to save the date. From uh, July 31st to August 5th, we are going to be having our national uh, LULAC convention in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we are expecting several uh, major speakers, including possibly President Biden or the Vice President, senators and congresspeople, as well as A-list celebrities and community leaders from throughout the United States. So make sure you reserve uh, and put that down, especially the August 4th and 5th, where we'll be having major events on Friday and Saturday, including voting on some constitutional changes to our LULAC constitution, as well as electing officers from throughout the United States for uh, our LULAC uh, membership. So make sure you save that date. In addition, uh, we just recently had our National Women's Conference uh, in Los Angeles, California. That was a very exciting uh, moment. Uh, several, uh, we had the mayor of Los Angeles, uh, the first African-American female, uh, Mayor Bass, who uh, addressed the group. We had uh, congresswomen who also came and talked to us. But the major issue that was brought out was 82,000 missing uh, young Latinas throughout the United States, uh, average age is 14, uh, who have not been, who have disappeared and not found. You don't want to see Amber Alerts for the little girl, the little Maria or Silvia with the black hair and the brown eyes. It's always the blonde girl with the blue eyes. And I think it's time that we made a change and then make a difference. And the women's conference came out very strongly that we got to find these missing young women. Uh, who, many of them are being trafficked or in some cases, maybe uh, uh, worse things have happened. So uh, we're asking that mayors and police departments, uh, state departments, and uh, also national law enforcement make a strong effort to find these young women and return them to their families and get them out of harm's way. In addition, uh, we are looking and preparing for our LULAC uh, Cinco de Mayo events throughout the, the country. So right now, there's Cinco de Mayo Parade in Houston, Texas. There's Cinco de Mayo Scholarship Dances uh, in California and in Chicago. And I'm asking every LULAC member and council president and state director, if you don't have a Cinco de Mayo event, organize one. That's a great way to raise money, to raise LULAC's profile, and it celebrates when General Ignacio Zaragoza, a Tejano, defeated the French at the Battle of Puebla. And that is really a uniquely sort of Tejano thing. They don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo that much in Mexico. It's celebrated here in the United States. So it's not just about margaritas and cerveza. It's really about la cultura, la música, y la historia. And the way we can make a difference right now uh, by helping our young, with scholarships or funding for our local councils and our states. So use the Cinco de Mayo to make a difference. Uh, we are continuing to work on civil rights issues. Uh, we've been meeting with uh, the Secretary of the Navy, uh, and we've had some uh, strong issues regarding how we can uh, make sure that Latinos are promoted in the military and how our young women are protected from any type of abuse. In addition, uh, we're also dealing with issues uh, with uh, Secretary Mayorkas and Homeland Security with immigration, making sure that our immigrants are treated humanely, decently, and that they're given the opportunity to have filed their claims for asylum, and if allowed, to remain in the United States and allow to be have the American dream. So LULAC is continuing to fight those battles. Uh, we have members that are doing everything they can to make sure that we pass comprehensive immigration reform. No se agüiten, I know sometimes it looks bad, uh, but if you keep pushing and you keep knocking, eventually we are gonna find a solution to this issue. So as the, I wanna make sure that all of y'all continue uh, if you haven't renewed your LULAC uh, membership dues, you do that. Uh, new councils can be created uh, now, and we encourage new members, uh, anybody interested or watching this video, if you want to create a LULAC council, go to LULAC.org, uh, and uh, we'll send you a packet, and we'll get you started. I want to welcome our new LULAC members from Idaho and Wyoming and Minnesota. Um, bienvenidos to the LULAC familia, and uh, we still need some states out there, Hawaii, Alaska, donde están ahí los Latinos, este, we need LULAC councils over there también, uh, as well as North and South Dakota. So if you know anybody in those areas, este, let's create a LULAC council ahí también, so that we can cover all 50 states in Puerto Rico. Muchísimas gracias, y hasta la victoria.